Hello, how are you today? I'm great, how are you doing? I'm doing great as well. This is such a nostalgic experience for me because as I mentioned before we started this interview, I did see Flipped twice in theaters within, I think, one week of each other. So. Well, thank you very much for the residuals. I appreciate <laughs> of course, that. Of course. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me, now uh, it's been a few years since then and you're coming out with another film, very different genre to say the least. Um, tell us a bit about Anonymous and how you first uh, booked the role. So, concerning how I first booked the role, it's a pretty straightforward experience. It's very similar to Flipped, actually, oh, okay. except just less, less uh, callbacks. Uh, but I went and I did an audition uh, and they decided they liked what I did and they cast me. I love it. I love when it's that simple, right? <laughs> exactly, exactly. Uh, but it's about it's about a young man named Alex Daniluk who's uh, who's uh, perceived the, his, the, the banks, uh, or rather, so I'll start again. Okay. It's, a, it's about a young man who's named uh, Alex Daniluk. He thinks his, uh, his mother has been wronged by the banks, by the big corporate banks of the world, and so he's out to, to get them and to make some change, and to affect some change through his... Uh, through his uh, online you know, vigilante actions. So mm -hmm. it's, again, very different to Flipped. Very yeah, <laughs> but uh, it was good fun all the same. Can't, you can't go into it with that mindset of ever you're playing uh, a character that might have, you know, questionable moral intent. <laughs> but, you know, I'm an actor. That's what I do is I'd love, honestly, most to play some character that was morally reprehensible okay. or, the, you know, a murderer or a crazy man or something like that. So you, you, you obviously you hope not to influence people, but I also don't feel like that I really would be. Mm. I, don't, I don't know that by the end of this film anyone would think it a good idea. Good. Yeah. Um, and so tell us a bit about who you worked with. I know that the director actually based this completely on a true story. He met someone who had a similar experience in a coffee shop. So to find something that authentic and create it into a script is incredible for us. It is, yeah, it's, uh, it was fantastic. What was the question? Oh, right? sorry, no, you're fine. Uh, just tell us about who you worked with. Okay, yeah, so the director's name is Akan Satayev. He's from Kazakhstan, uh, so that was fantastic. I'd, I'd never worked with anyone from Kazakhstan before. I'm sure I'd met them and they just never told me. That's And possible. I might have just thought they were Russian or something like that, but uh, it, that was wonderful because he was such a kind uh, spirit, such a kind soul. Uh, and he was wonderful to work with because he knew exactly where he wanted everything to be, he knew what he wanted the actors to do, and even with his, at the time, limited English, he was able to very easily, in few words, get across what he needed from us. Uh, and it was such a multicultural crew, because we, we shot in uh, Hong Kong, Bangkok, uh, Toronto, New York for a couple of days, I think the one guerrilla day, actually, and then also they shot some scenes in, in Kazakhstan itself. So, yeah, there were all these different nationalities, so many different people, and uh, so it was great. That's so great to hear, and that is a lot of different filming locations. So, have had you ever visited there or filmed there for other projects, or was this your first time truly filming the majority of a film outside of the U.S.? So, it was my first time filming in uh, in Toronto and in New York and in Bangkok. In fact, I'd never been to Bangkok before. Uh, I've, I've filmed some stuff in Australia before, and okay. I'd filmed in the U.K. Uh, just immediately before before. Uh, Anonymous. I did a film called Robot Overlords with Sir Ben Kingsley and Gillian Anderson, which is great fun, and you should see. It's yes. great fun. It's a bloody romp. But uh, yeah, this was my first time filming in a lot of those places, so it was a unique experience, yeah. yeah that's awesome. Well, I can't wait to see how it all comes together. And um, of course, as I mentioned, it is much different from Flipped, but how was it playing this role? I know you mentioned that you actually like kind of the darker characters. What about it is appealing to you as an actor to play kind of the more mischievous, mysterious roles. There was just some meat in the script, you know. It, there was, I got to be a, a little bit versatile. I, I got to uh, get angry and get sad, that sort of thing, and that's what you really want because mm -hmm. a lot of the things that I auditioned for or even that I film, I'm just playing me with an American accent, <laughs> you know. And so it doesn't require much stretching on my mm -hmm. part as an actor or as a person. So uh, this this time it was great because the script allowed me to, to move and have fun with it, honestly. And that's all you can ask for. So you're up for the challenge, yes? Of course, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Awesome. And um, we got to get that shameless self-promo for you. Um, can we have your Instagram, Twitter, <laughs> all that good stuff? I don't know if you have a Facebook fan page. I do, yeah. Oh, God, the world's falling apart. Okay. Uh, <laughs> at Callan McAuliffe on Twitter. Uh, Callan McAuliffe on Facebook. It's the fan page. I don't know what my picture is right now, but it looks vaguely like me. As long as it looks legit yeah, and, you know, exactly. it's not some, like... Yeah. 
page run by a poser who no, is no, not you. It is by okay, which perfect. Is why there's so little activity, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's so yeah. Tw that's Twitter and uh, Facebook, and then Instagram is uh, McBombadil. I guess at at they use yeah. At. They okay. use at. You can use tags on Instagram. Um, but, but when they're finding my name, it's at. Oh. When they're finding your name, they go to the explore page, go to the search I think you can bar. I type in Callum McCall, because I it will come up. my name, but the, the actual uh, account is Muck Bombadil. Named, Perfect. Named after the Lord of the Rings character, Tom Bombadil, oh. and my first name, McAuliffe. Are you a huge fan of Lord of the Rings? Uh, absolutely, absolutely. Yes. You know, as, if I could have an end goal or something in sight career-wise, I would say I want to be Gandalf in the remake they do in 50 years. Oh my gosh. Directors, producers, <laughs> anyone involved even slightly with Lord of the Rings, please if watch this. 50 years more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> please put me in the, in the remakes. Or we'll do a next generation Lord exactly. of the Rings type thing. Exactly. We'll revamp it. It'll be great. It will. Well, Callan, thank you so much for your interview, and best of luck with the film. I can't wait for it to come out. I know yeah, it's December 2nd, though. December 2nd. That's very soon. Everyone check it out in theaters. Go follow Callan on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook fan page, which is run by him. Yours truly. And thank you so much again. This was honestly amazing. I've been wanting to interview you since I started five years ago. So. Thank you so much for having me on board. Of course, of course. Congratulations on everything and have a great Thanksgiving. Will do. You too. Thank you. Bye, guys.